What if I told you that the M103 heavy tank, America's last true heavy, was armed with a cannon designed to punch through the thickest Cold War armor? Today, let's take a look at the M58, the rounds it fired, and how much of its real-life power actually made it into the game. In War Thunder, the M103 sits at battle rating 7.7. It's a solid heavy tank for its tier, even if it's not the final production model like the M103A2. The main round available is an APBC shell, and at first glance, its performance seems decent. At 1,000 meters, the game lists 201 millimeters of penetration at a 30 degree angle. At 60 degrees, that value drops to 103 millimeters. Not bad, but historical testing paints a slightly different picture. In real-life trials, the exact same round achieved 221 millimeters at 914 meters and 30 degrees, and about 124 millimeters at 60 degrees. At 2,000 meters, the difference continues. In-game, you get 184 millimeters at 30 degrees and 94 at 60 degrees. But test data shows 196 and 114, respectively. It's not a massive discrepancy, but it's consistent and always leaning just a bit lower than reality. To help make that clear, I I've included two graphics, one showing penetration at 30 degrees from 10 to 2,000 meters, and another for the same range at 60 degrees. And then there's the heat round. It's almost spot on compared to historical performance, except for one tiny detail. It's exactly one millimeter lower at any angle and range. Also, there's widespread misinformation online claiming that the M103 fired an APDS round. Unfortunately, that's not true, at least not in its final production form. A PDS was tested during development, but it never made it into standard service. Since the end of World War II, the U.S. had been experimenting with HVAP and HVAPDS ammunition. These subcaliber rounds used tungsten and had impressive penetration, but they were expensive and caused serious barrel wear. Because of that, the Army leaned toward full-caliber APC shells instead. They were cheaper, easier to produce, and worked well with the T-123's higher chamber pressure and muzzle velocity. In short, the M103 never needed APDS, and it never got it. To be fair, War Thunder does a decent job representing the M103 and its M58 gun, but some details still fall short. Penetration values are consistently lower than historical data, and the lack of APDS is accurate, just not always explained. The real M103 wasn't perfect, but its gun was powerful, precise, and purpose-built to counter Soviet armor. In-game, it still feels strong, but once again, the numbers don't tell the whole story. 